Hello everybody, I am Duke James, and this is a new campaign in EU4 Mew and Taxes. This time it will be as Genoa. So in this campaign, it's going to be semi-tall, in that I can only take provinces that have hard-coded trade modifiers in them, so estuaries, deltas, things like these, ports. There's going to be a couple exceptions. Can I move this? No? Okay. A couple exceptions of, like, Cairo, because they're good cities that are close to the sea, but they don't actually border the sea. So I, I might be able to take like one province to get to Cairo. But things like the river confluences, like Paris, they're too inland, so I won't I won't take those. So just trade modifier provinces that border the sea unless they're a special exemption, and they're really close to the sea, like Cairo. Alright, the other thing is, this is 2.5. It's not 2.51. And that is because 2.51 has stability issues, so I don't want to start a campaign in 2.51 and then have to end it prematurely. I'd rather just stay on 2.5 until they really hammer out the stability issues in 2.51. Because a lot of people have been having problems with crashes, and I, I really don't want to start a campaign and then go, hey guys, I have to end this campaign 40 years from now because of crashes. 2.5 has been pretty stable for me. In my Russia campaign, I can't say I've ever had a crash, and that's pretty far along right now, so I'm going to stay on 2.5. Maybe if they, if they get the stability issues worked out, then I'll switch 2.51, but... I might end up just switching to 3.0, depending on when that comes out. Not sure on the timetable for that, though. So we'll see how it goes. Alright, Genoa. Yeah, this stuff is pretty much uh, stock stuff, so I won't spend too much time on this. Religion, Catholic, of course, government. We are a republic. Have not played a republic yet. I'll just skip over that stuff. Uh, Castile offers privileges. Lose 5 prestige. Genoa gains Iberian trade privileges. Trade power 20 in Iberia until December 25th, 1366. Alright. Let's see. Our current ruler is Serene Doge Simon, Simon Bacanagra. He is 652. That's not bad. So we are a serene republic, which gives provincial trade power modifier plus 10%, stability increase interval plus 10%, trade power abroad plus 10%, tolerance of heretics plus 1, tolerance of heathens plus 1, fort defense plus 10%, stability increase minus 20%, which counteracts the stability increase above, and then manpower recovery speed, land force limit, national cooldown, National Focus Cooldown, Republican Cultural Sufferance, is Local Unrest Negative 1. Centralization is 30. So we start with relatively high centralization. We are allied with Castile. We are in a war with them. Probably want to get out of that as soon as possible. So the income screen... It's not going to show much until the game gets going. We start with trade ideas, which is nice since we are a... Not a merchant republic, but... Republic. Missions. Colonial idea missions, and then... Looks like these are... Some Italy missions. A lot of trade missions. Defeat Venice. Alright. We have some holdings in the Black Sea. And a couple provinces in the Aegean node. One province in the Aegean node. 
So we can use those to pull trade to the Terranian. So those guys, all of our merchants collect. So I'm thinking as soon as possible, I'm going to just white peace. Genoa will pay 16 ducats. Actually, I'm just going to do this. Give him 16 ducats. I'll take that uh, prestige hit, that's fine. I just want to get out of that war as soon as possible because it's not going to do much for me except delay the time that it's going to take me to get alliances. And I don't want to be left without alliances. Let's do that option. Let's see, who wants to ally? Italian balance. We are a regional Italian power. France is at war, Milan is at war. It's going to take a while, all these calculations. Lots of ships. Send the trade fleet to protect right now. Start protecting. I won't pick uh, rivals yet. Let things shake out a little bit. Let's go critical news on the religion front. So France would be a good ally. Generally, France allies Genoa. If I get them, I'd be set for a while. Let's open all these up. Prove relations with them. More ships. So Milan wants an alliance. I think I'll take it. Let's have this war cog. Protect trade. An Eternium. So the thing that I should do is... Because I want to pull trade, the... Two things I'm going to do. One thing is I'm going to colonize in order to pull the trade from Asia into the Eternium. But what I can do now to pull trade is conquer some trade provinces in the Aegean and the Black Sea. So if the White Horde gets into trouble, if they start collapsing, I can grab some of these provinces from them. Mostly those three provinces. In the meantime,
meantime, I could grab some trade provinces from the ailing countries in the Aegean before the Ottomans grab them. So probably the first thing I'm going to do is grab Halkidiki from the Empire of the Romans. So I should build a spy network there. Then there is... Let's see, do I have any claims over here? This province. So I have a claim on the Empire of the Romans. So I'll still fabricate a claim on Halkidiki, but I could attack them if I wanted to. These guys are guaranteed, the knights are guaranteed by Venice. So I don't think I want to fight them. Venice guarantees everybody over here. Build spy networks against Venice and Achaia. And Athens. Athens is going to break this uh, junior partnership with Sicily. I'm not sure how that happens, but it always happens. They always get out of it. So I should probably build a spy network with them so I can jump on it. Actually, I won't because I have to do that with Aragon. And they might actually get out of that junior partnership before I can even get the claim. So I think I'll do it with uh, build a spy network in Kandar instead. Try and grab that before the Ottomans do. The Ottomans should fight the Empire of the Romans once this truce ends. Generally, they take these three provinces, and they leave Constantinople alone, and they leave this area alone. So I could probably grab Hakadiki in this province in a war against the Empire of the Romans while they're fighting the Ottomans. My force limit is... 7. A ship force limit. Okay, so I'm going to build a couple galleys to get up to my ship force limit. Not galleys, uh, cogs. Get those going. I could potentially give Milan rent my troops as Kandatiari to Milan, but I'm thinking, I don't know how long that's going to last, and I'm pretty close to them. They can just walk through this fort and attack me. I can only move my position, my troops here. And I want my troops to be ready to jump on wars in the Aegean when I can, so I think I'm going to keep, keep myself out of that. I don't think it wouldn't really be that much money either. I think I will decrease my army maintenance, get rid of real corruption. Apparently I have an extra merchant, so I'll send him to the West Mediterranean. Unless there's a better spot. Can't get to Egypt. And I don't think I can get to Castile. At 
which is kind of funny considering I have a bunch of trade power there from that event. Yeah, that's kind of funny. Can't get there, but they'll give me trade power. Policies. Let's start centralizing. We can abrogate the Crimean Treaty. Which allows us to attack them. So we can't attack them now. They exist only by treaty with the Tartar Khan. While we, while we or they can choose to abrogate the treaty, the results would be catastrophic. So they can't attack us, we can't attack them. I could get rid of that. I would just give Crimea a bunch of cores and gain a ton of unrest. And the White Horde would gain cores. Alright. Sicilian trade privileges. Genoa gains Naples trade privileges. 25 trade power in the Tyrrhenian Sea until December 25th, 1856 for 50 ducats. We should enforce our influence in the Western Mediterranean by increasing our domination upon Sicilian and Neapolitan trade. So 50 ducats and I get a free 25 trade power. Sign me up for that. I'm gonna go tolerance. So I'm gonna go do that, do that. Alright, and then I can declare the first war January 9th, 1358. So I got a little bit of time. Alright, I think those were uh, those are going to be my opening moves. And uh, for now, I'm going to finish this part here and then pick it up in the next part. So I want to thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next part. Goodbye.